Hey guys, Carl here. Hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be talking about Condor Blue, Bright Tangerine, Small Rig, and wooden camera accessories for your camera and how you get what you pay for in a lot of ways. So to kick it off, we're gonna start talking about top handles. I've been running the Small Rig top handle. This guy right here, rubber grip, NATO rail, has some accessory mounts on it, um, you know, quarter 20 and then three quarter on there. No RE positioning holes or anything like that for locking uh, products onto it. This has been a really great top handle and I, I've had it for about four or five years now. Like I got this when I got my first like rig set up and I've ran it ever since. It's been great, it has done a great job. It's uh, $39.90 on Adorama, b &H, from Small Rig itself. Great product. But this year, I found myself getting frustrated with it because of the fitment and how low this is right here. Just a few things that were becoming a little frustrating when I was trying to rig out my, my camera. So this has now become something I just use on my gimbal. So it's an extra side handle for my gimbal like that. And I run a monitor mount off of it for um, a monitor at the bottom of it. So what I ended up going to, the Bright Tangerine top handle. This is a NATO top handle as well, NATO right here. It has RA locating pins on every single one of the holes. I also got the Bright Tangerine rod holder. And for the reasoning is this guy right here. And I'll get into monitor mounts here in one second. But I wanna talk, quickly talk about this specific monitor mount right here. This guy's from Wooden Camera. I am in love with it. It works so well. So instead of you know having to screw something on and off every time or you know use, which I'll go into these two in depth in here in a second, but these guys, these Condor Blue like quick links, these guys are a lifesaver in a lot of ways, but instead of using these, I came up with this. I didn't come up with it. People, the companies came up with it, but I wanted to go this route. Um, so you just take this wooden camera tool right here with a you know rod on it, and you put that guy right in there, tighten this up, and then you have full motion, and you're able to flip it around. So let's just say you are a YouTuber, and you wanna be able to record yourself instead of doing like the, the, um, the flip around dealy, like the 360 rotatable, like all these, guys, all these gimmicky things give you. Um, you can just flip it around real quick and it's pretty painless, seamless, and it works really well. So we'll go into more depth of monitor mounts here in a second, but just wanna give some credit where credit is due. Bright Tangerine, I've been eyeing their products for a while now, um, just because they, they build some really quality stuff for high-end cinema cameras, like Sony Venice, FX6, FX9, Komodo, Raptor, Airy. You name it, they make a, uh, a product for it. Uh, I don't think they do anything for Black Magic. I mean, you can adapt some of their stuff like this or the you know rail holders and stuff like that. They create the cash boss system, which you can you know shoulder rig, shoulder handles, and they have cages and all kinds of stuff. But this top handle has been I've been eyeing it for a while, and I've really wanted to jump up to something different besides the small rig one. But I can adjust this lengthwise so I can go in and out, telesco telescope it in and out, um, and then you just lock it in place. It has some, some lockers on there, and then it's not going anywhere, and you just have a nice, really robust top handle. And you, like I said, you can change up the positioning of it, so if I want this guy to be front heavy, because I've got a big lens on there, or something like that, I can really change up how it, how it feels on the camera. Um, so it's been a good changeover, plus then the 15 mil rod holder in the front for the monitor mount has been awesome also. It's not cheap at $247 just for this top handle, but the quality of it is just amazing. The machine work, the fitment, how everything goes together, the how the, the thread pitches. This is something that I'm, I, I come from a manufacturing background and selling equipment and stuff and knowing how machinery should work and these aren't just something that's pushed out really quick. I know they have like the CAD files built into a CNC and they just go through and they make them fast, but they're probably small batches, not like this where it's just mass, mass, mass manu uh, manufactured. Every one of our products is built in our single factory in Church, Crook, Crookham, UK. The fact that all their products are built in the UK um, and just well thought out. They feel good, they're well balanced. Everything fits together really well and snug and tight. 
Um, I'll go through some of that here in a second. You know, one thing I've found with these other companies is when they send you their product, they send you, you know, screws um, and like Allen wrenches and stuff like that. And they always round out because they're just cheap. They're cheaply made, they're, they're mass produced. They're just pressed out and sent out the door. Whereas when I first got this and I started putting it together, it just felt right. It just felt good. Everything like clicked in place. There was no wiggle room. There was no movement. It was just perfect. That brings me to my next category, the monitor mount. You can get these monitor mounts from just about anybody. And these are the tilt and swivel type where they can you know, tilt forward, backwards, and they swivel 360. And they range anywhere from you know, 40 to 100 bucks, depending on what you're getting. Tilta, Small Rig, Condor Blue. Um, there's so many different ones out there. Eightsin, I mean, you name a company that builds some sort of cage or something, they have a monitor mount. And I found that over time, these monitor mounts just suck. They wear out, they're, they're gimmicky. You know, you spend 40 bucks on a tons of these things and they work like this small rig one I've had for four years, same type of thing. And like the rubber's missing out of the top of it. Uh, the swivel does not work, it's locked out. I had to lock it out because it just, it started swiveling on its own out of nowhere. And that's where the Condor Blue one comes into play. This thing, these, this company, um, I don't wanna to say too many bad things because they have good products also, but these monitor mounts, these have got to change. These are not, not good. They do have RE locating pins on them, uh, which helps out a lot. The tilt feature, they're, they have these like set screws in here that you tighten up or loosen up depending on how much you know play you want in this. But look at this, like I've tightened this thing all the way up and it keeps coming undone for the 360 swivel. So I'm, I'm on set or I'm doing something and all of a sudden the thing, like I tilt it a little bit and it goes away from that set screw and then all of a sudden it starts spinning. And I'm sitting there with like a can't like a, a monitor that's just spinning around. I'm trying to hold it in place while I'm also filming or if I'm doing something handheld. You can't have that. And these products, they're just, they're cheaply made. They're cheaply made. For 40 bucks, you have a, a monitor mount and it just doesn't feel quality. It doesn't feel like you should spend that kind of money on it. And it's it's a bummer because you spend all these all this money on these things and they just don't end up working out very well. Like I could tighten this thing all the way up too and then I have no swivel. Or I could tighten these all the way up because over time they become loose again and then I have no tilt. So it, it's just a matter of you know what you want to spend money on. The one product that Condor Blue makes really well and maybe some of their other stuff is awesome. This product right here, these quick links, these guys are a lifesaver. You can put anything you want on these, quarter 20, three quarter, RA locating pins on here as well and they have a lock situation, so you can't undo that. Um, I have not found anything about these that I don't like. I use them a lot on a lot of different things and they just work really well. So what am I saying here? I'm saying that you get what you pay for. And if you're gonna spend the money on you know five different <laughs> monitor mounts over time because they wear out, they break down, or they just, suck. You might as well spend the money on something like this that you can grow with and use on different cameras down the road, be it your RED, your Aerie, your Sony a7S III, your a6500, your a6000, like whatever it is. If you're trying to mo mount a monitor to it and you want a top handle, when you hear that click, you hear how nice that click is, they're tapered just enough to where It just fits in there, like snug. And then you have this like nice fluid motion. I don't know, uh, I'm, I could be just, you know. And then if you're using anything, um, if you're using small HD products, like the small HD monitor, I've got a 702 touch up there. They have mounting pins right here for those and it comes with a rubber pad. So if you're using something else, you can uh, still mount it to it. And I don't know. That's, uh, that's my two cents on this subject here. I think that these are a great product. If you're gonna spend the money, spend it one time instead of a bunch of times over time and let it grow with you. Um, that's all I got. Check it out. Bright Tangerine and this guy is from Wooden Camera. I'll leave all the descriptions to these products down below 
and you guys can check them out at your leisure. And thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.